Hey guys, welcome to today's 19th lesson of our certification training for the exam MO300, so Microsoft Office Specialist PowerPoint Associate 2019. And before we start, I would like to encourage you to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any new certification training content. And now, without further ado, let's begin with today's objective, which is to review how we can insert and manage media. Okay, so the three objectives are insert audio and video clips, create and insert screen recordings, and configure media playback options. Okay, so let's begin by inserting and configuring audio and video clips. So there are two options, either you can go to the insert tab and go to the media. So you can see that we have our video audio and screen recording here or alternatively you can go to the recording tab and you have all the options also here okay so I when you want to insert audio you click the audio and for example audio on my PC records sound but I don't have any audio prepared for you so I click on the video and yeah let's choose the video and by the way the media playback options for the audio and video are almost exactly the same. So now we have inserted a video on our slide and let's review all the context tabs, okay? So in the video format tab you can change the way the video looks, okay? And specifically this this box looks. So we can for example add some frame, we can add border like that and a common task might be to insert a poster frame of the video so that it doesn't show the first frame, the first second frame of the video but instead we can replace it with our image. So I can choose image from file and let's insert the skateboard image and you can see that now it displays this poster okay but let's mainly review the playback options and there are quite a few so firstly in your video you can add bookmarks so that you can quickly reference to those when you have for example a longer video so that you can quickly click on the bookmark and start playing from exactly from that timestamp okay so firstly maybe let's review the video okay and we can perhaps add a bookmark here perfect Next up, you have the options to trim your video, so it opens this this window mini editor and you can set the start time and end time are either by specifying the exact timestamp or you can simply hold and move the start and the end, okay? So let's perhaps get rid of this view, perfect. Okay, next up you have a few options to, so fade in and fade out, let's review how it might look, so let's play the video, and you can see that it fades in and fades out. Next up you have options for volume, so either you can mute the entire audio from the video or set high, medium or low volume. These options are specifically important, so for example you can loop the video until you stop it manually. Let's do that. We can either start the video automatically or for example when clicked on, so let's choose that. And we can also choose to play it full screen, okay? So now for example, when we try it out so here we have our poster and yeah let's click like that and you can see that we can see the video on full screen and it 
loops continuously until we stop it like that and we can for example click the escape key now and you can also here see our bookmark okay so when we start the video and we can quickly go to our bookmark perfect so that is all important concerning the media playback options and another objective is to create and insert screen recordings so again these options are available either on the insert tab here on or on the recording tab so let's choose screen recording now you can see that the PowerPoint window has closed and we can choose the exact area of our display for example which we want to record so I have here this unsplash site and let's do a quick recording now you can see that it will record both my audio as well as the pointer okay so for example like that let's go down a bit and now let's end the recording perfect you can see that our recording has been inserted onto a slide when you want to save it save this video as a file you right mouse click and click save media as and also as you can see it has been inserted like any other video and you have all the media playback options available here so just when we play the video perfect so yeah guys that is all for today's lesson i hope you find it valuable if so smash that like button please subscribe for more content and i will see you guys in the next video bye